so much to learn about It'll make you want to shout Blippi! Vroom, vroom, race car! Vroom, vroom, race car! Put your helmet on, we're about to go! Indianapolis Motor Speedway in Indianapolis, Indiana. <laughs> and guess what happens here? The world's largest single day sporting event. It's a really, really big race. The Indy 500. <laughs> oh, I am so excited to go inside and see all of those really fast race cars in real life. Hey, do you like to go really fast too? <laughs> Great, me too. Well, let's go and start your engines. Whoa! Whoa! This place is awesome! <laughs> I am so excited to learn about so many different things, like race cars, and racetracks and what it takes to be a professional race car driver. <laughs> this is so fun. <laughs> Whoa, do you know where we are right now? We're on the track. <laughs> yeah. I'm so excited to be on the actual track at the Indianapolis Motor Speedway. <laughs> Whoa, and there's so many cool things here. Come on. Whoa, look at it. <laughs> You know who that is? It's me! <laughs> they even have my name here. Wow! And look what's under me! A lot of seats. Yeah, this is a really big track, so they have lots of seats so they can have lots of people. 250,000 people! <laughs> That's a lot of people. Wow! This place is so huge! <laughs> I bet a lot of people and a lot of cars will go here. <laughs> It's so big! <laughs> this track is really big and really long. It's two and a half miles. Woo! <laughs> yeah, two and a half miles. And the drivers do 200 laps. Woo! That means 500 miles. Whoa! Wait a minute. 500 miles in the 500? Oh! <laughs> That's why they call it that. <laughs> so silly. Wow, this is so cool. Can you see what's here? Yeah, look, they have different lines drawn on the ground because we're in the pit lane. <laughs> yeah, this is the part of the track where drivers get 
They can come to the side to get new tires or more gas and get ready to keep racing. Yeah. And each one of these boxes has a different car and team. <laughs> Whoa, it's so cool here. Well, maybe if we get really lucky, we can ride in a real race car. Whoa, and look at this. <laughs> it's a real life race car. And professional race car drivers, Alexander Rossi and James Hinchcliffe. <laughs> Hi, it's me, Blippi. Hey, hey Blippi. Blippi, how are you doing? I'm doing great. It's really nice to meet you. So good to see you, man. Yeah, thanks for coming out. Is this your race car? Sure is. Whoa, it looks so fast and really cool. And hey, do you notice something? <laughs> you have my name on it. You sure do, man, just for you. Ah, uh, thanks. Hey, will you spell my name with me? Can we do it? Yeah, All right. Join in. let's do it. Okay, here we go. B-L-I-P-P-I. -I. Flippy, <laughs> good job. <laughs> Whoa, there are so many cool parts. Can you tell us a little bit about the race car? I'd love to, Blippi. Why don't we start right here with the tires? Now, this race car's got four tires, just like your car at home, but the tires are very different. You wow. notice how it's really smooth on top, no treads on it? Whoa. We call it a slick tire. That gives the race car more grip in the corners, which is obviously really important. <laughs> very special tires for these cars. And like the tires on your road car, well, they're gonna last you a while, six months, a year. These are only gonna last us for 25 laps. So we have to come in a lot and change tires all the time because they don't last very long. Whoa, that's a lot of tires and a lot of pit stops. <laughs> and a lot of money. A set of tires on your road car might cost you a couple hundred dollars. One of these tires is $1,500 and we've got four every time we come in. What? $1,500? <laughs> that's an expensive tire, <laughs> but it sure looks cool. Whoa. And this race car is really colorful. Do you know the colors on the race car? <laughs> yeah, we have the color yellow, the color red, the color blue, and the color white. <laughs> Let oh. me show you one of my favorite things, Blippi. So this is the steering wheel. Do you want to hold it? Yeah. Okay, so Ooh. it kind of looks like a video game. It's very different than your mom and dad's, you know, car steering yeah. wheel. It's got a lot of buttons. It's got a screen that gives you a lot of information about the engine, how Ooh. fast you're going. On the back, you have the shifters. So that's to go up, that's to go down and this is the clutch. So oh. very, very complicated, very, very cool. Um, and it's it's all part of what makes a race car go as fast as they do. Oh, that's so cool. Yeah, do you see that? Look, the shifters. <laughs> They're little, little switches on the back. Little switches, little paddles. Do you wanna little know what paddles. else makes the car go really fast? Yeah. James will show you up front. Come over here, Blippi. Here's oh, something I wanna show you. Hey, James. So you see this part right here? You yeah. don't see this on a road car, do you? Mm -mm. Nope, my this car is... doesn't have that. <laughs> <laughs> this is called the front wing. And what the front wing does is generate something called downforce. So what downforce is, is when the air pushes the car into the ground and it gives you more grip in the corners. So the faster you go, the faster the air hits this wing, the harder it pushes the car in the ground, the more grip you have. Whoa, that's really important. We don't want our race car to become an airplane. <laughs> no, we don't want it flying away. <laughs> We've talked a lot about what's, what makes a race car different than your car that you see on the road, but one of the things that's very similar is we have what's called an aero screen in IndyCar, and it's, it's basically a windshield. And it was designed and introduced in 2020 to help protect the drivers. You know, we go over 200 miles an hour with over 30 different cars on the racetrack with us at the same time, and sometimes accidents happen. And so the number one thing for, for the series and for the Indianapolis Motor Speedway is to protect the drivers and make it a safe sport. So this was a major introduction, the first in all of motor racing, to put a screen on an open wheel race car. So that's very, very similar to a windshield that you'd have on a road car. And then you also have mirrors. So this is so we can see what's behind us. Huh, that's so cool. Yeah, look at this. This is a really cool era screen. Very cool and very, <laughs> very strong. It can withstand up to six pickup trucks the weight of six pickup trucks on top of that, so incredibly what? strong. <laughs> the weight of six pickup trucks? That's really heavy. Yeah. <laughs> oh, well, Alex, I wanted to ask, since you have the aero screen, do you still have to wear a helmet? You do still have to wear a helmet. You know, ultimately, we're still driving in an open cockpit. You, you can see there's no roof on the top. So there are still potentials to have things come and hit your head, and as fast as we're going, you want to make sure you're as safe as possible. Safety first is really important. <laughs> Wow, well, thank you both for teaching us about all these different parts of this really cool race car. <laughs> of course, but I mean, it's not just about the car and the driver. There's a pit crew, too. Do you want to go meet them? I would love to go meet the pit crew. All right, let's go. Come on. Look at where we are. We're in the garage. <laughs> and I 
so excited to meet the Fit Crew. <laughs> Flippy, I want to introduce you to two of our mechanics. We got Brad and Brad. Hey, nice to meet you, Flippy. Hi, Brad. Nice so to meet you. So, Flippy, the Brads are going to show you how to change a tire. Oh, whoa, Brad and Brad, they both have the same name. <laughs> That's so silly. <laughs> Brad, that would be really nice of you to show us how to change a tire. Sure can, Blippi. This is a wheel gun. You take the wheel gun, you put it on the wheel nut, pull the trigger, it comes off. You take the old tire, set it down, pick up a new tire, slam it on, change the gun, and you're done. Whoa! That was really fast. You take the wheel gun to take off the wheel nut to take off the tire really, really fast. <laughs> Brad, how fast can you change a tire? A good one is under five seconds. Whoa, under five seconds? Whoa, <laughs> that's really fast. <laughs> well, do you think I could change a tire? Sure, I'm gonna have Brad, the other Brad, <laughs> help you. Oh, thanks, Brad. Oh, hi, Brad. <laughs> first thing you want to put on some gloves. Okay, first, we want to put on gloves. <laughs> safety first. Safety. Okay. One glove and Two gloves! <laughs> now that we have on our gloves, I think we can change the tire. Whoa! <laughs> That's really heavy! <laughs> I'll give it to Brad. <laughs> and we take the other tire, we put it on the race car! <laughs> now, we need to put the wheel nut back on the car. And here we go. Now, we put it back on. There you Ooh, go. There it is. Nice work. Whoa. Good job, Lippy. <laughs> Whoa, that was really hard. I did it a little bit longer than five seconds, but I just need a little practice. <laughs> wow, that was so amazing. Well, Brad, what else does a pit crew do for a race car or a race car driver? The pit crew guys, clean the car, build the car, make the car for the drivers each race weekend. Wow, that is so cool. Feels like they have a really important job to have a great race. <laughs> oh, and that reminds me, oh, what else do you need to do to get ready for a race? Well, Blippi, driving a race car is incredibly physical. You have four to five G-forces, which is four to five times your body weight pushing against you in either a forward and back motion or a side to side motion. So we do a lot of stretches, James and I, before we get into a race car to do a race. Sometimes the races are two to three hours long, so you wanna make sure your body's nice and warm and ready to go. So the first thing we focus on is our neck. You know, we have the helmet on, that weighs five or six pounds. We have a lot of load that's placed on our neck with all those deep forces. So let's just grab one side of our neck and, and kind of pull it gently to the side. And we'll do that for a couple seconds and then go to the other side. Wow. So you wanna make sure you do it all. And then push on the back to kind of get the, the back of the neck warmed up, cool. and then push on your forehead and push, push against to get that, that part of your neck warmed up. So it's really good to help make sure that you, know, you don't get tired in the race. The next thing we can do, in, a, in an Indy car, there's no power steering. So the steering wheel is very heavy. Very heavy. It's very difficult to control the car. So you want to make sure that your shoulders and arms are warmed up. So we'll Probably needs really oh, strong arms too. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> for sure. So Whoa. forward, forward, backwards, yeah. yeah. Back. Whoa. You can make circles with us too. Whoa! <laughs> and the last thing you do is, you know, you are sitting for for a long period of time, right? So you want to make sure that your legs are as warmed up as possible. So okay. what we can do is we can do a couple. We can either do jumping jacks or we can do lunges, James. What do you think we should do? I think we should try a lunge. Try Thanks a lunge. Okay, yeah, here we go. You can lunge with us too. Okay, here we go. Step forward. Here we go. Switch, switch legs. That's good guys. Make sure you get both of them. Yeah, do Ooh. one more. All right, so now you warmed up your legs. Good job. Your arms <laughs> and your neck. So you're ready to drive a race car. Love it. Ready to drive a race car. But I think there might be something else I'm missing. There are a couple rules when you drive the race car, and so you have to make sure you know those rules. And those okay. are really based around the flags. Now the flags all have different colors, so I'm gonna go grab those flags and I can show you what each one means, okay? Okay, all right. I'll see you soon. Whoa. There's a lot that goes into having a really good race. I'm really excited to see all these flags. And what all the colors mean. <laughs> so here we go, here's a couple flags. First one right here, what color is this, Blippi? Whoa, this is the color red, <laughs> a red flag. The red flag is when there's a stoppage in the race, and that happens if we have bad weather or a bad accident that they need to clean up. Okay. I'll hold it for you. Thanks. Next, we have the yellow flag. Ooh, yellow flag. Yellow <laughs> means caution. 
either in the corner or on the whole track. If there's just one car that's maybe off track, you've got to slow down and be cautious in that corner. But then once you're past that corner, you can move on to hopefully see this one. I know this flag. The green flag. <laughs> yeah, the green flag. And I bet I know what this means too. Let's hear it. It's okay to go as fast as you can. As Woo! fast as you can. That's the one that everybody really loves seeing at the start of a race. But at the end of a race, this one's my favorite. This is the checkered flag. Whoa! And if you see this one first, it means the race is over and you won. Whoa! The checkered flag? <laughs> that means this is a really important flag. And one day, I hope I can see it if I win the race. <laughs> Woo! Hey, Blippi, I've got an idea. How about I show you what it's like to win the Indianapolis 500? <gasps> you would? Yeah. I would love to find out what it's like. All right, follow me. Okay. Let's go follow Alex and see what it's like to win the Indianapolis 500. <laughs> see you soon. Woo! <laughs> Whoa, look at where we are. <laughs> Lippy, do you know what this is? Whoa, this is it. The Borg Warner Trophy in real life. <laughs> so the Borg Warner Trophy uh, was created in 1936 and every single winner of the race, their face is engraved onto the trophy. <laughs> Whoa, look, there's lots of little faces. <laughs> They're right here. Wow, and they're from so many different years. Hey look, it has their name and the year that they won and their average miles per hour. <laughs> the average, average miles per hour for the whole 500 miles. And so while we're down here, Louis Meyer in 1936, when he won the Indy 500, he requested a glass of ice cold buttermilk when he got out of the race. But <laughs> we've, we've kept that as a tradition and now every single year the winner gets a glass of milk. Oh, that sounds like a good tradition. Do you know what a tradition is? <laughs> yeah, a tradition is something that has been done for a really long time and it's important, so we keep doing it. <laughs> sounds like there's lots of traditions if you win. So here's your glass of milk, as if you won the race. It's not buttermilk, keep in mind, but it's kind of cool, it's kind of special. You're at the victory podium, you have a glass of milk. It's almost <laughs> like you won the race. It's almost like I won the race! Flippy wins! <laughs> time to drink the victory milk! <laughs> Go. Like a pro. Woo! <laughs> Woo! Excuse me. <laughs> and the next thing you get if you win the race is, well, because this trophy is five and a half feet tall, it's worth over two to three million dollars. It's worth a lot of money. They give you a miniature version of the Borg Warner trophy called the Baby Borg, which you get to take home with you and keep it at your house. Whoa! Whoa! I can't believe I'm holding a real Borg Warner Trophy, a miniature one. <laughs> wow, it is so beautiful, it has wings on the side, <laughs> and it looks like it's made of actual real silver. <laughs> oh, thanks, Alex. You're welcome. Thank you so much for coming and learning about the Indianapolis 500 and the Indianapolis Motor Speedway, and we really hope to have you come back next year so you can see the race in person. Whoa, I would love to come see the race in May. <laughs> it sounds so fun and exciting. <laughs> Thanks for teaching us about all these different things. Absolutely, it was so nice to meet you. Enjoy the rest of your time here, and I can't wait to see you again. <laughs> I'll see you soon. Bye, Bye Alex. <laughs> wow, can you believe it? We met an actual professional race car winner and someone who won the Indy 500. <gasps> I'm so excited. <laughs> hey, maybe we can keep exploring and learn some more things about the racetrack or another race car. <laughs> Look at what we found! <laughs> well, right now, we're inside turn one at the garages, and it looks like we found a race car! <laughs> Look, not just a race car, but a race car driver! <laughs> well, I've had so much fun learning about racing and racetracks with you. <gasps> Maybe we can ask them about being a race car driver and learn even more! <laughs> Come on, let's go! <laughs> Whoa! It's professional race car driver, Sarah Fisher. <laughs> Hi, Sarah, I'm Blippi. Hi, Blippi, nice to meet you. Well, it's really nice to meet you. <laughs> We've been learning all about racing and being race car drivers. <laughs> What's it like being a race car driver? It's a lot of fun, but it is sure a lot of work. <laughs> <laughs> well, it sure looks like fun. We love going really fast, <laughs> running, driving. <laughs> well, have you been a race car driver for a really long time? I have. I started in go-karts when I was just four years old. Oh, four years old? Riding a go-kart? <laughs> I love go-karts. Hey, 
Have you ever ridden a go-kart before? <laughs> uh, but this looks a little different from a go-kart. This is really a big race car. Whoa, look at it. It has really big wheels and tires. Wow, all kinds of parts to it. <laughs> oh, Sarah, do you have a favorite part to the race car? Oh, absolutely. I have many, but one of my favorites is the rear view mirror. It was actually developed here at Indianapolis Motor Speedway in 1911, the first race. Whoa, 1911? That's a long time ago. <laughs> yeah, you see? Look, it has a rear view mirror just like your car. So if you're driving along, <laughs> you can look in the mirror and see what's behind you. This one looks different from the other race car we saw. It has two seats. <laughs> one, two, two seats. <laughs> Hey, what's the second seat for? Well, this car is purposefully built so that I can give people a ride and they can see just how fast an Indy car can go. <laughs> Whoa, that sounds really, really fun. <laughs> well, I've never been in an Indy car before, but they sound really fast. Well, what's it feel like to be in an Indy car? Do you get really nervous or shaky because you're bumping along really fast? <laughs> Well, just like any other sport, sure, you can get a little nervous, but once you're in the car, all buckled in, it's time to go. <laughs> Whoa, that's so cool. And this car is really colorful too. Oh, do you know what colors the race car is? Yeah, look, it's the color green and the color blue, <laughs> dark blue. <laughs> wow, this is a really cool race car. I wish I could drive in it. <laughs> well, I'll tell you what, because it has a second seat, why don't you come for a ride with me and see what it's like? Me? Ride with you in a race car? You bet. <laughs> yeah, I would love to ride. Whoa, do you think I should ride in the race car? <laughs> okay, we'll have to do it. <laughs> well, let's go get a uniform and a helmet and get buckled up and ready to go. Okay, great. <laughs> Time to get suited up. <laughs> wow, it even has a bow tie. <laughs> I have two bow ties. <laughs> I think we're all suited up. Let's go, come on. <laughs> hmm. I wonder where Sarah went. <laughs> Good thing I have my binoculars. <laughs> I don't see her anywhere. I think I hear something. Oh, I see something. Whoa! That was really, really fast! <laughs> I can't wait for her to come around again! I think it's time for us to ride! Come on! Sarah. All right, Luffy. Nice, nice to see you. Bye. Whew. Look, 
It's a flag stand. <laughs> Let's climb to the top. Come on. I'll see you at the top. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Whoa, we're up so high. <laughs> Today was awesome! Here at the Indianapolis Motor Speedway, <laughs> we learned all about racetracks, race cars, and even got to meet some professional race car drivers! <laughs> Sarah Fisher, James Hinchcliffe, and the winner of the 100th running of the Indy 500, Alex Rossi! <laughs> well, that's the end of this video, but if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name! Hey, will you spell my name with me? <laughs> Great! B L I P P I! Flippy! Good job! Well, I'll see you soon! <laughs> Come on, everyone! Let's make learning fun! So much to learn about! It'll make you wanna shout, Flippy!